my testimony uh, actually started in October of last year, and it's one of these testimonies that took time to unfold, so I couldn't really do it till now. Uh, in the interest of time, and really to keep me from wandering off, I'm going to just go from the script. Uh, this is a testimony about an upgrade experience in my confidence in God and who God is for me. By sharing this, which is a first for me, God's intention is for this to be an upgrade in your confidence in God as well and who God is for you. It relates to a situation I found myself in in September of last year. In my real estate role, I had contracted to purchase a vacant shopping center. It came with a very important approval that I was given. And that allowed our company to build a retail department store. It sounds insignificant, but this was very significant. This was the only reason that justified completing our transaction. This was a promise I and our company had counted on. In September of last year, just before we were about to purchase the shopping center, out of the blue, that approval was revoked by the company that had granted it. This was very bad news. In the Old Testament, at a place called Ziklag, David's entire camp, his women, children, or the women, children, possessions, livestock, everything that they had were taken away by marauders while he was out on an assignment with his men. Nothing was left. It affected all of his men deeply, including David, and in a very real way, and personal way to me, this was my situation right then. It carried serious consequences financially for my company and for myself. In corporate real estate like this, companies do not change their mind and give back consents once they're revoked. I was up against something brand new that I could not change. I did not know what to do, but something deep inside me said, this is not right. This should not be like this. At that time, we were in Richard and Carlene's class, Supernatural Power of a Transformed Mind. It's all about thinking differently from heaven to earth. It's not actually that easy to do. It was then I was inspired to spend time with my friend on the rooftop of our gym at dawn. By my friend, I mean God. Papa God, he calls himself I am. It was then and it was there that he reassured me the three consents I was seeking would be given back and I needed to go get them. So this was big, it was profound. I found myself partnering with him to change something that should be changed. Just like David was compelled to go after his entire camp and retrieve it, not just part of it, but all of it in its entirety, and he did. So that's what I did. My friend and I got on a plane, flew up to the headquarters. I met with the company leadership, and the consents were, in fact, given back to me. The last part of that is verbally. I reported back to my company and this was a game changer decision and my confidence of who God is for me soared. He was changing what to me was the unchangeable. He was doing something very natural from heaven's perspective, which was now my perspective. God absolutely loves empowering us. 
it makes us dangerous in a real good sort of way. It's a heavenly way. However, we did need each of the consents in writing. So from that date in October until now, those consents have been arriving one by one in writing, signed off, and sealed. This entire experience with my friend, I am, has changed me. God settled the issue of who God is for me and who I am. More than once, he reminded me, you can stand tall. You're a warrior. God has shifted my vantage point from earth to heaven where it should be. You see things so differently from that perspective. Everything changes. Warriors actually embrace his majesty. And we all want to embrace his majesty. That's where we want to be. That's where we want to live. That's where we want to worship. Thanks.